Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? Hope you are doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to our online platform, NIEVS Home School. I am Muhammad Abul Kalam, an assistant teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Today, I will conduct a Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of class 4. Our today's topic is chapter 14, reading, fill in the blanks and matching. I repeat, our today's topic is chapter 14, reading, fill in the blanks and matching. Look at both. The name of our today's chapter is our history. We know that our history has two parts. One is ancient times, another one is the middle Ages. Look at the first picture. He is King Shoshanko. King Shoshanko belongs to ancient times. And the second picture we see about Isha Khan, he belongs to the middle ages. Now we will go to the reading. Part one, ancient times. We shall learn about three kings and about the social and economic life in ancient times. King Shoshanko at first. Shoshanko was the first powerful king of Bengal in the 7th century AD. He established the boundaries of Bengal with the capital as Karnashubarno. King Gopala. After Shoshanko, there was a century of anarchy. Then in the 8th century, Gopala was elected to rule Bengal. He founded the Paul dynasty, which continued for 400 years. King Laxman Sen. This king ruled Bengal in the 12th century. He was the fourth king of the Sen dynasty. He was a learned man and a poet. Eventually, in 1204, he was defeated by Bakhtiar Khilji, who opened the era of Muslim rules in Bengal. Social life. In those days, villages were at the center of social life. People were engaged in traditional occupations, such as barbers, blacksmiths, porters, or cobblers. Their religions were Hinduism and Buddhism. Their transport was boats, bullocks, carts, and palanquins. Their Food was rice, vegetables, pulses, and fish. Economic life. Agriculture was the main occupation. They grew rice and sugar cane. There, also, there was also cortez industry in making cotton and silk garments for export. Now part two, the Middle Ages. We all know that Ishaka belonged to the Middle Ages. We shall learn about three kings of later times and the socio-economic life of those days. Samsuddin Ilya said first. Samsuddin Ilyas Shah came to power in the 14th century. His main achievement was to keep Bengal independent from the Sultans of Delhi. During his time, local language, literature could prosper and poets and scholars were much admired. Isha Khan. Isha Khan was the leader of the land owners in Bengal called the Barubhuyan. He was the landlord of Shonargao. In the 16th century, he fought for independence of Bengal against Mughal Emperor Akbar. Shaista Khan. Once the Mughals had taken over Bengal, they appointed Shaista Khan in the 7th century, 17th century as the local governor of Bengal. At his time, rice was so cheap, one could get one month of rice for eight taka only. Social life. At the time, Bengal was known for the harmony between Hindus, Buddhists, and Muslims. It was also known for its Bengali language and literature. The traditional crafts and occupation flourished throughout the Middle Ages. Last one is economic life. The economy in that age remained based on agriculture. Cotton and silk garments were also renowned, as well as wood and ivory work. Exports exceeded imports in that age from Chattagram, port, rice, sugar, ginger, muslin, and other types of cloths were exported. These are the reading. Now we will go to fill in the blanks. Look at the first fill in the blanks. Shoshanko dash or gave the boundaries of Bengal with capital Karno Shuburno. Answer will be Shoshanko established the boundaries. Established E S T A B A L I S H E D. Look, I have written here established. Shoshanko established the boundaries of Bengal with the capital Karno Shuburno. Number B, after Shoshanko, there was a century of dash. Answer, after Shoshanko, there was a century of anarchy. A N A R C H Y. I repeat, anarchy. A N A R C H Y, anarchy. Number C, Lakshman Shen was a learned man and a dash. Answer, Lakshman Shen was a learned man and a poet. 
point P O E T point. Number D, in ancient time, dash was the main occupation. Answer, in ancient time, agriculture was the main occupation. Agriculture. A G R I C U L T U R E. Agriculture. Number E, Samsudin Ilyasa came to power in the dash century. Samsudin Ilyasa came to power in the 14th century. One, four. 14th century. F number. Isha Khan was the dash of Shonargao. Answer. Isha Khan was the landlord of Shonargao. Landlord. L A N D. Landlord. L O A R D. Landlord. G number. Dash was soil known as a trade center. Answer will be Chattagram. C H A double T A G R A M. Chattagram. I repeat, Chattagram was oil known as a trade center. C H A double T A G R A M. Last fill in the blanks. S number. Isha Khan fought for independence of Bengal against Mughal Emperor Dash. Isha Khan fought for independence of Bengal against Mughal Emperor Akbar. A K S B A Akbar. Okay. Now we will go to matching. Matching number A, Paul dynasty, option 16th century, continued for 400 years. Yes, we have got the answer, Paul dynasty continued for 400 years. Number B, during Shaista Khan, option 16th century, 12th century, rice was sold cheap. Yes, we have got the answer, rice was sold cheap. Number C, during Shamsuddin Ilyasha, option 16th century, 12th century, local language and literature could prosper. Yes. Number 5, during Shamsuddin Ilyasha, local language and literature could prosper. D number, King Shoshanko, option 16th century, 12th century, 17th century. King Shoshanko came in power in 7th century. King Shoshanko. Isha Khan, 16th century and 12th century are left. We all know that Isha Khan, the duration of Isha Khan is 16th century. Isha Khan, 16th century. Last one is Lakshman Sen. Lakshman Sen came in power. Only 12th century is left. That means 3 is left. This is the answer. So, these are our fill in the blanks and matching. Look at both, I have given your SW, fill in the blanks and matching. Dear students, you will do your SW in your SW copy. You will be informed soon when you will submit your SW copy. Now, I hope that all of you have understood our today's discussion. Read the text again and again. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents' advice. See you again, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.